Looking for a guaranteed way to create content that resonates with your audience? Start a podcast, interview your ideal clients, and let them choose the topic of the interview. Because if your ideal clients care about the topic, there's a good chance the rest of your audience will care about it too. Learn more at sweetfishmedia.com. You're listening to B2B Growth, a daily podcast for B2B leaders. We've interviewed names you've probably heard before, like Gary Vaynerchuk and Simon Sinek, but you've probably never heard from the majority of our guests. That's because the bulk of our interviews aren't with professional speakers and authors. Most of our guests are in the trenches leading sales and marketing teams. They're implementing strategy. They're experimenting with tactics. They're building the fastest growing B2B companies in the world. My name is James Carberry. I'm the founder of Sweetfish Media, a podcast agency for B2B brands, and I'm also one of the co-hosts of this show. When we're not interviewing sales and marketing leaders, you'll hear stories from behind the scenes of our own business. We'll share the ups and downs of our journey as we attempt to take over the world. Just kidding. Well, maybe. Let's get into the show. Welcome back to the B2B Growth Show. We're here today with Dr. Kizzy Dominguez. She is president of K Parks Consulting. Kizzy, how are you doing today? I'm doing well. How are you doing? I'm doing really well. It's a Friday afternoon as we're recording this. So uh, the sun is shining in my neck of the woods. I imagine uh, it's probably shining in yours as well, hopefully. It's the same here, Logan. It's beautiful out. Can't believe it's the weekend and it's it's sunny. It's warm. I feel like it's still summer. <laughs> awesome. Well, Kizzy, uh, we are excited to dive into this topic of how sales leaders can use um, an assessment tool that you're very familiar with, uh, the leading dimensions profile in both knowing and building their team. Uh, before we jump right into that topic, Kizzy, I would love for you to share with our audience a little bit about yourself and what you and the team at K Parks Consulting are up to these days. Oh, excellent. Thank you so much, Logan. My background um, involves lovely industrial organizational psychology. So it's really the application of psychology and data to the workplace, to performance, Mm -hmm. to making teams better, companies stronger. And and that's where my um, PhD comes from. Mm -hmm. And directly out of graduate school, I incorporated my business and haven't looked back. Um, And and my team of difference makers, um, we basically, our end goal is to make all of our clients' lives easier, whether Mm -hmm. it's through assessments, it's through training, coaching. We also even provide um, some IT and graphic services to the federal government, to private sector clients, nonprofits, and to higher education. And we have the pleasure of, of being headquartered in Sunny Melbourne, Florida, but my team is dispersed throughout the United States. Um, And some some team members live internationally. And so we really pride ourselves in making our clients' lives easier and just being pros, pros to just help our clients thrive. And, And no problem is ever too big for us. I love that. I love that. Uh, Kizzy, it sounds like you guys are serving uh, quite a range of of customers in, in industry and things that you're doing for them. Um, excited to dive into this you know, assessment tool, the leading dimensions profile. Before we get into you know, how sales leaders can use this specifically, I'd love for you to give us a little bit of background um, on this tool and give us a little bit of frame of reference. So let's start there. Tell us a little bit about this profile, about the assessment tool that we're going to be talking a little bit about today. Yeah, of course. So as your your listeners probably know, there seems to be an assessment everywhere. You go on Instagram to get the latest about a friend or celebrity, and I swear there's something there around assessments. Uh, we all know about some of the, the most common out there, that, that MBTI, um, emotional intelligence assessments. There's so many mm-hmm. assessments out there. So you know, may be wondering, well, what's so unique about this one? Well, one, the leading dimensions profile is an assessment that is extremely valid um, assessment and has about 95 items and is easily completed online. And based on this assessment, you're able 
to learn how one approaches work. Because you, you maybe you've come across this, maybe not, but you may have a team member where they're just all about the task. They're just so focused on the task. That's where they're going. Then mm-hmm. you may have another team member, colleague, where they're much more relational. So this also looks at how you interact with someone. Maybe one of your team members is the company mayor or all of your clients know them because they're the kind of mom, dad type of, of team member. Mm-hmm. You have those that are in between. So this assessment is really powerful because instead of just focusing on personality or emotional intelligence, it really combines many of those different characteristics and mm-hmm. the reports are easy to use. And at the end of the day, it gives you actionable information. So you know immediately more information about you, more information about your colleagues, more information about your team as a whole. Mm-hmm. And as you were explaining it to me a little bit offline, Kizzy, you mentioned it really kind of breaks it down into two areas, you know, measuring how people approach their work and how people approach their coworkers. Tell us a little bit about, you know, why that's important for sales leaders to understand those two aspects of their team members. Well, it, it's so vital because I have found that so achieving, you know, hopefully you have a team of those that they want to achieve, right? You want them to kind of have that internal drive as well as there may be external drivers, incentives, things of that nature, but you want them to want to achieve. However, comma, if the focus on achieving, if the emphasis is so strongly on just getting that sale and maybe on ethical things happen, or they don't follow the protocol that you have in place, or because of the actions that they've taken, you know they're going to get the sale, but then the customer is going to want to cancel the next day, then we have a problem. And so we're able to, through this assessment, one, determine how does one really approach tasks? How do they approach goals? Um, and, and to really see how do they, where do they fall on this continuum Mm -hmm. as well as relating with others, um, Mm -hmm. as your listeners know, how you interact is key. Um, it's, it's key to the market is key to what you're selling. Um, and, and so you want to know how do they, how do they engage with others? How do they Mm -hmm. collaborate? How do they relate to how do they affiliate? Do they come mm-hmm. off open? Do they come off closed? Is it somebody who's very self-protective? And so others may misjudge them as being rude or snotty. Who knows? But this, um, using the, the, the leading dimension profile, you're able to find out this type of information because ultimately both one's achieving dimensions and the relating dimensions impacts performance. Today's growth story is about a leading global cybersecurity company. Even though they're incredibly successful, they struggled with demand generation within an extensive contact database. To solve this problem, they worked with a partner to implement a multi-tactic program that included email, ad retargeting, and inside sales and marketing outreach activities. I hope you're sitting down for this next part because the program generated an ROI of over 500%. So what kind of partner can deliver these jaw-dropping results? MRP Prolytics. MRP Prolytics is an insights-powered account-based marketing platform with streaming predictive analytics baked into its core. Integrating multi-channel ABM execution on these insights, MRP Prolytics triggers display, email, direct mail, and global inside sales in real time, helping the largest marketing departments in the world deliver the right message to their customers at just the right time. Can MRP Prolytics get similar results for you? Probably. Find out by visiting mrpfd.com or click the link in the episode description of this interview. All right, let's get back to the show. Yeah, and like you said, there can be a lot of different aspects to successful salespeople. You know, the Sales Acceleration Formula is a book that I've read on on building sales teams and it touches on that aspect of, you know, their salespeople can achieve uh, results in different organizations in different ways or in different segments of the market. So I hear that in what, what you're saying here as well, Kizzy. So I uh, wanted to 
transition to talking about, you know, how sales leaders can use uh, the LDP and assessment tools like this to really understand their team. Tell us a little bit about uh, where you see um, this tool and tools like this being used by sales leaders and what they should be thinking about in how they, you know, apply the results that they get in understanding their team better. Often I come across others, like for instance, I, I, I was just at this event that was for entrepreneurs that um, some had a few hundred employees, um, some had way more than that. But the, one of the themes was a lot of discussion around their top salesperson, right? You know, I want everyone to think about that. Who is your top salesperson? When you think of your top salesperson, there's got to be somebody that pops in your head. And, you're, and you always say to yourself, I wish I had more. And you fill in the blank with that person's name. Mm-hmm. You want more Maria. Right. Would mm-hmm. You would love for more of her. That's who you want. Because then you would be able to achieve all of your goals and go on that two-week vacation you always wanted to go on. So <laughs> you would love to do that. But at the same time, what do you really know about Maria? Mm-hmm. What do you really know about your set, your top salesperson other than they're getting you that desired end goal? They're, they're closing that sale. They're giving right. you those numbers that you desire. So one of the benefits of leading, of using a tool like the LDP is being able to really understand who is this person? Because often you, you have a Maria and then you have your non-Marias, and then you want everyone to be like Maria, mm-hmm. and, and then you're disappointed because you don't have other Marias. Mm-hmm. So this tool allows you to kind of create that character sketch so then you know, okay, here are these attributes that align with my top salesperson. So now you can take that and look for other team members like this and hire for them, train around these areas and or you can start to put together teams or maybe one other use of this is Mm -hmm. not at the individual level of finding more Marias, but also if you have teams, maybe you need a fewer Marias in that team and you need a different type of person in that team. Mm -hmm. Maybe the line of product or service that you're offering has changed and maybe Mm -hmm. that Maria just isn't doing it anymore. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. and now you need to take a shift so you can figure out, well, what, what am I really, what do I really need? What does that person look like? How do they assimilate and, and connect with other team members? How do they really engage and build rapport? How do they ease tension? How do they look for opportunities? How do they rally around? And, and other things of that nature. So using a tool really helps to get at that mm-hmm. because what's beautiful about an LDP or any other type of assessment is they tend to be very non-threatening as, mm-hmm. as long as the person or your team understands the why they're going to be very open to responding because who mm-hmm. doesn't want to learn more about the most important person in their life. And that is, you know, us, <laughs> <laughs> you know, we love learning more about us. Right. Right. I I love that. And, you know, it sounds like you're touching on a little bit of what we talked about at the top of the interview is that, you know, having an assessment of how these performers approach their work, but also how they approach others, Um, not necessarily a team full of Maria's, if we're using that as, uh, as our fictitious top performer here, you know, it might not be the best mix in how they interact with each other. So understanding that dynamic, I think, you know, is, is really important as well. And like you said, different sets of sales skills could lend themselves to uh, different type of sales um, and things like that. Uh, coming away from you know this recent event or working with other clients, have you kind of seen some aha moments or a sales leader really uh, kind of change their approach and see some success by implementing uh, the LDP or or a tool like this and take their team to the next level, Kizzy? Yeah, I definitely have. There was a, a a workforce that we worked with and 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 they they were struggling. They they there were those that were top performer, those that weren't, there were those using their um CRM, those that weren't. I mean, it, it was really um the team was all over the place. And so by using the assessment, the client was able to better match their their reps on the, there's a, a sales closer style um, that's connected to, to a couple of the um, different types of LDP. 
And by connecting that sales closer work style, they earned as much as a 79% increase in revenue for those that were with a better match than those that didn't have the match. Wow. Um, so it was a huge impact for them. And it was a small tweak that they made mm-hmm. and, and mm-hmm. They, they reaped that huge benefit. Awesome. That's a that's a great example for us to take from this conversation too, Kizzy. I appreciate it. Well, Kizzy, this has been great. I really appreciate you taking some time to share with our audience your expertise on this topic today. Uh, if anybody listening to this would like to stay connected with you, find out more about what you and your team are doing, what's the best way for them to go about doing that? You know, there's a multitude of ways. I am, I, I love to talk. So you're, you're more than welcome to call me direct. 321, like liftoff because of NASA. 321-795-1908. Um, <laughs> you can call. I'm also um, very active on LinkedIn. Kizzy Dominguez, you will easily find me. There are other Kizzies, but there's, to my knowledge, only one Kizzy Dominguez. So you should find me. Um, also, you're more than welcome to go to our website. And that is K is in Kilo Parks, like Rosa K Parks Consulting.com. You are also more than welcome to go to K Parks Consulting.com to learn more about us. And I really encourage you to connect with me on LinkedIn. I would love to learn more about you, answer any kind of questions. Feel free to call, text, WhatsApp if you desire. And I, <laughs> I really hope you enjoyed our, our chat today. Awesome. Well, I know I did. Kizzy, thank you so much for coming on to the show. Well, thank you so much, Logan. I really appreciate the opportunity. Awesome. All right. We love it. Well, before we let you go today, folks, we wanted to share with you an upcoming event that we're excited about. Um, The Impact Summit is happening in Salt Lake City on October 13th. So coming up pretty close here, if you are a business leader uh, leading a team, looking to increase your reach on social media, become a disruptor and a thought leader in your space, or you're trying to figure out how do I work on my personal brand and leverage that to advance my business and my career, um, then the Impact Summit is something you're going to want to check out. Um, Our very own James Carberry, the founder of Sweetfish Media, is going to be leading one of the breakout sessions. So um, would love to uh, connect with you there. And uh, if you want to find out more, if this sounds up your alley, uh, check out influencerinc.co slash impact summit. We'll also link to it in the show notes. If you do and you decide to uh, meet up with us there and other uh, leaders at the impact summit, you can use the promo code sweetfish. That's sweetfish, all one word, no space in there to get 15% off your tickets and look forward to seeing you at impact summit in October. Becoming a thought leader doesn't just happen. If you want to build a strong personal brand and extend your reach online and offline, you need a plan. Want help developing yours? Check out Impact Summit. This one-day event is bringing together best-selling authors, professional athletes, influential CEOs, and emerging entrepreneurs, all for one purpose, to equip you to lead, influence, and inspire. Whether you're looking to build a lasting legacy with your business or extend the reach of your brand, Impact Summit speakers will share inspiring stories and practical lessons to help you on your way. Did we mention a session on launching and growing a podcast? You guessed it. You'll hear from Sweetfish Media's own James Carberry during that session. You won't want to miss all of these influencers and leaders coming together in Salt Lake City on October 13th. Ready to learn more? check out influencerinc.co slash impact summit. B2B growth listeners can get 15% off the price of their tickets for this event by using the promo code sweetfish S W E E T F I S H. So use that code, get your tickets today and get ready to grow your brand and your influence at impact summit 2018.